terrorism is un-Islamic. The terrorists twist and pervert the true meaning and spirit of religious texts to win support for their evil cause. Our approach emphasizes the un-Islamic nature of terrorism by means of sound Islamic knowledge. We will encourage mainstream Islamic scholars to write books, articles, and issue fatwas that directly dismantles the ideology of suicide bombing and misconception of jihad. Counterterrorism is not against Muslims. We will ensure that the fight against terror is not misconstrued by Muslims in Nigeria as a fight against them. The terrorists are an influential minority who live with and claim to be Muslims, but through their activities bring harm and ridicule to Muslims and the religion of Islam. Concerted efforts are being made to isolate the terrorists from the communities in which they find sanctuary. Encourage and empower Muslims to speak out against terror. The ideology of terrorism will be defeated through mainstream Muslims in Nigeria. Our approach seeks to enlist and build capacity for counterterrorism cooperation among Muslims by exposing the true intent and form of government that the terrorist groups seek to impose. Muslim-Christian relations. The terrorists are desperate to ignite a religious war between Nigerian Christians and Muslims in order to actualize a war scenario that would aid their operations. We will launch an aggressive interfaith response between Christians and Muslims to create awareness on terrorism. Our major goal is to unite Nigerian Muslims and Christians against terrorism. Counterterrorism is apolitical. Government will build inter-party collaboration for counterterrorism to ensure party affiliations do not hinder stakeholders from contributing to efforts targeted at countering extremism. Fourth, stream, based on our understanding of the economic root of terrorism and global best practices in addressing them, we are working with the governors of the six northeastern states of Nigeria to design an economic revitalization program targeted toward the states most impacted by terrorism. Working with various stakeholders, we are currently designing a regional economic revitalization plan. I must use this opportunity to recognize the immense sacrifices that our military and law enforcement officers have made. We must also remember the souls we have lost and those they left behind, whole communities that have been sacked and the increasing number of orphans and victims, a large number of whom are children. When we reflect this horrendous damage and feel the pain and loss, we should remember that the only thing left for us to do is to stand up against this violence. We can do this whether we're in government or not, because as a family or community, we all have a circle of influence through which we can mobilize by our words or our good deeds, reach out to our neighbors, and consult one another, provide intelligence when we suspect something, and build bridges of trust and ensure collaboration. I wish to assure Nigerians that government is doing everything to protect lives and property. We have developed a program that is inclusive, and our doors are open for new ideas or inputs that the public may have. We are equally developing a monitoring and evaluation framework that will track implementation of each stream of the CVE program and will be publicizing our reports and sharing best practices learned.